Take a look at this. This is the National College Attainment Network FAFSA tracker. It's what the Indiana Commission for Higher Education uses to track the state's FAFSA standings. And you can see through April 5th, 28% of high school class of 2024 here in Indiana has completed a FAFSA. There have been about 24,000 completed in the state. That is a 27% drop compared to the last academic year. We can see Michigan's too. If you look here, Michigan through April 5th, 26% of Michigan's senior class has completed a FAFSA. There have been 31,000 completed in the state. That's a 36% drop compared to last academic year. Now, all those drops could be because of all the issues FAFSA has had this year. It's a busy time in higher education. This is sort of deadline time, crunch time. Yes. Absolutely, yes. Our state priority deadline is April 15th. Made even more chaotic by the rollout of the new FAFSA form. Yes, we have had a lot of phone calls, um, especially with the new FAFSA. I just cannot stop thinking about students. The U.S. Department of Education revamped the free application for federal student aid form. The change was meant to make it easier and faster for people to fill out, but it has been a rocky rollout to say the least. First, people can usually start filling out the FAFSA in October, but the process was delayed and didn't begin until the end of December. State higher ed leaders say data shows at least 50% of FAFSA submissions happen in those first few months. We lost sort of that on-ramp. Then even after it opened, students and families experienced glitches, snags, and confusion. There are some known glitches that are still occurring that are causing some challenges. Now colleges and universities across the country are finding major delays in getting students FAFSA data from the federal government. And there's confusion about whether it's correct. The Department of Education started to send records to school, so records being data, on March 10th. It was um, like drip. And the challenge is, that there have been errors in the data. So it sounds like without that data, you can't give students like a full picture of like what financial aid, institutional aid they might be eligible for? Yes, so we, we have certain institutional awards that we can offer that aren't based on FAFSA data, but um, even a lot of our scholarships some of those committees are waiting on that FAFSA data to actually make decisions on who's getting those scholarships. All of this as College Decision Day is approaching on May 1st. That's the day many colleges and universities require students to confirm their decision on where they want to enroll. We are maintaining our May 1 confirmation deadline. The um, university will continue to monitor the higher education uh, financial aid landscape. All of this could be discouraging people from filling out the FAFSA. It's the application that current college students and students who plan to attend college must fill out to be eligible for grant scholarships and loans. Unfortunately, across the country, FAFSA filing is down. That could mean people who need money to help pay for schooling won't get it. You used to hear this narrative about well, my parents make too much money, so I'm not even going to try. But now with the new regulations that come along with it, many more students that have never qualified for financial aid before are going to qualify. And those who have always qualified are going to qualify for more. There is billions of dollars in federal financial aid available. In Indiana, there's around $400 million in state financial aid waiting to be distributed. Filling out the FAFSA can unlock some of that money for students, which is why higher education leaders are urging people to fill out the FAFSA as soon as possible. Typically what that has meant the last several years is that uh, we will uh, award students who apply by that deadline and who qualify for state financial aid, and then we determine if we still have additional financial aid remaining. And if so, then we extend that deadline out to whatever point uh, that we feel like we still have capacity to be able to continue to fund students. If you're unable to fill out the FAFSA by Indiana's priority deadline tonight, you can file an appeal. Now, if you're unable to fill it out by the deadline, you should still fill the FAFSA out. The federal deadline for this coming academic year isn't until 2025. In the newsroom, Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the WSBT 22 YouTube channel.